Okay, this is the remote transfer switch. It's for essential circuits only. It's not a whole house transfer switch. And this here is the coil that I replaced. It burned up in the uh, brownout. Now all these wires, even though they're so tiny, very, very tiny, every single one of these the yellows, the blues, have 120 volts on them. Between them, because there's, as you can see, there's three fuses, you can get 240 volts. I already tested the generator. I would have videotaped that, but I'm not really good at doing videos. Maybe somebody should do a YouTube video on how to videotape. So in here, that's the generator breaker. So it'll be that one there. And I'm gonna shut that off. That's the loss of power. Waiting for the generator to start. There it goes. waiting for this to turn that is the transfer so we're now on generator power and now to transfer back because the one on the bottom, that coil there, that transfers from utility to the generator. So now I'm going to turn the breaker on and it'll see that there's utility power and then the one that burnt up should be good and that little yellow lever should transfer back up. If it does, we're all good. Might want to let that run for a little bit. So on these, <clears throat> where's my cover? I know I got a cover. This is what an essential circuits transfer switch looks like with breakers. And the way it operates is all these circuits used to be over here so you choose which ones you want to have when there's a power outage like say your heat sump pump some lights a microwave to cook and you put them in here this section down here is nothing but a sub panel and this section up here is nothing but a transfer switch Utility power comes in right there. It comes in through there from that breaker over there. And under normal power, it goes straight through this switch out to these wires here and feeds all the breakers down here. Now when it transfers, it actually shuts that off turns on these little wires coming in from the generator this one and this one and oh let's see if I can I'll prove it type thing see that that's the generator is there I don't even know if you can tell it's red but anyways it's red and that's off because I shut that breaker off so now, when I turn this breaker back on, the utility power is back on. The generator is still running because it hasn't transferred back yet. And there it goes back to utility power. And now, 
the utility power will be on. I don't know if you can see that red light or not. Generator's still running, so this is still red. But when the generator shuts off, it'll go out. Any time now. But that's back to working. That's all I really care about. Because that, that relay up there, as you can see, it got pretty dark. I was worried about that. The wiring was heated and blackened, but the, the wire actually survived. <coughs> so the only thing that went bad is this coil. And there goes the generator. Just shut off. So, I don't know if you could see that before, but it's no longer let because it knows it's on utility. So cool, huh? Next time I work in here, I will probably replace those wires just for looks. But to get this back online for the next storm, that's the most important. Okay, everything in there is good. This is here is why you would put in a sub panel. You see all them circuit breakers? That you couldn't add another circuit if you had to. But I'm pretty sure that because these got moved over, some of those don't have a wire on them anymore. They're spared out. <coughs> And that's all there is to it. Thank goodness.